to the loan, we are welcome to the black and call once again. Uh, in this um, video, we shall be treating how to calculate the paint required for any given project. So, I'm going to start from the um, from a simple one, from a simple area. So, I'm going to consider a real life project map. But in our next video, we will be considering a real life project. Now, what to consider, let's assume that uh, given the area that has been painted, how um, Paint required for a given project. So now we are given a let's assume we have to calculate for hundred square areas and we are using a motion. You see, the mistake most people make is that they will just tell you, for instance, when you call a local painter, a living painter, I want to paint this uh, room. We just tell you buy so so gallon of blood, blood of paint without considering the maker you are using. Because when you are using, for instance, when you are using Dulux paints, Dulux matte um, emotion, for someone else that is using uh maybe fine coat mats you can't we are not the the number of paint required will never be the same because the spreading rate of the two paints are not the same or for someone that is using um fine coat emotion very good see someone that is using fine coat emotion and another person is using matte dulux matte paint the two can't be the same you can't you can't use the same um quantity of paint because the spiding rate of the paint are not the same. So whenever you want to give or you want to coat the paint you try, you need to know the product, the actual product you are using and the specification, the manufacturer specification for the spreading rate of the paint. For instance, our G coat paint, we have for our G coat emotion paint, the spreading rate is 10 square areas per liter. For our mats, it's 11 square areas per meter and uh, per liter. Now we uh, for for instance for um do uh, for do not smart yes I think it's between eleven and twelve between eleven and twelve square areas per meter of the paint. So you need to note that first and the paint you are using before you are deciding on the actual paint uh, the quantity of paint um used. Now let's Calculate this now. Let's assume using even all these fine coats, the yeah, spreading rate is between 8 and 10, and 9 and 10 rather, but depending on a well sealed wall. That's another thing. If the wall is not sealed in and it's rough and the lights, so it may not cover up to that. So let's assume we are using our G coat paint. Using G coat emotion paint. So our spreading rate for this uh, for our emotion normal emotion page is 10 square areas per liter per liter and the formula for calculating the paint required is this paint required in liter paint in liter equals S A over S R times N C. And our P in L means paint required in liter. Our S A means what? Surface area. And our SR means spreading weight. Then SC and substitute C means number of foot required of foot 
would require. First, there are some words that, that will be uh, to be stated. Sometimes we tell you that you are painting it three times. Some of that it is just one coat, so it must be noted. So now, let's now calculate the paint, the amount of liters required to cover 100 square areas using two coats and motion of paint. So now, let's see, you said our surface area paint required would what? What's our surface area? The area we want to paint, which is a, the effective area. If it is a room, for instance, when you calculate the area of each of the wall, add it together, you have to remove the dots, the openings, all the openings. You have the dots for all the openings. So now, you have 100. You are told that we are using 100, covering 100. Over, what is our spreading rate? 10. Our spreading rate is 10. Times, what is the number of coats? Let's assume we are painting in two times. Two times. So this will give, this will give us this. This will cancel this. Have it? So that will be 10 times 2, that will be 20 meters. But that is not all. We need to consider other factors. Number one, the factors to be considered, we have to consider the, okay, let's have it here. I have to consider potting. If the wall needs to be potted, if it is irregular, we have to consider potting. We have to consider cutting. What do we mean by cutting? Cutting means using brush to cover all the edges that the roller cannot what, get to. All the corners where the roller cannot get to. So, we are going to use paint to cover all those corners like this place now. You cut it. After using your roller, you have to cut it as well. So also need to consider, depending on the nature of the work, you need to consider waste. You need to consider waste. Yes. So for this um, particular exam example, let's limit the duration to this. But when it is like this now, we are given the areas. We are given the area. So. In case when you are um, painting a particular room, for instance, whenever you are not giving the area. So you need to consider all the things that need to be considered. In that case, if there will be too much of cutting and the light. So now, you need to factor, and do not forget, your roller too, this waste for your roller as well, will take part of the paint. There is no way you finish painting without having any paint on the roller or the brush. However, you still have to wash them away. The cutting that has been said, then the potting the way you mix your pot, uh, paint with cutting to fill. So, depending the extent of what you are cutting, so that will determine the actual percentage that are going to factor. So, let's factor for the potting, add um, for the potting, let's say 10 percent percent for cutting. So the ten percent of this that will be what that will be two liters. Ten over hundred times twenty. This, 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 this. So that will be two liters. Add um that's what in a bit for our cutting. Let's consider 10% that we get for cutting. So, which is also with 2 meters. So, for our waste, let's do 5%. But well, paint will drop. There is no way you can do that. You can't expect to paint will drop. Then, the roller too will hold uh, the paint. 5%. For waste, so that would be one liter. So the total will give us two plus twenty plus two plus two. That's twenty four, twenty five, twenty five liters. And you know, you don't have paint in twenty five liters. You have it in twenty. So number of liters.
data required. This we got 25 liters. So and that will give us which will give us one drum and one gallon. Remember in paint in the paint industry, when you one drum, drum the drum means 20 liters and the gallon means four liters. So there's no way you can get the one liter. So I think it is up to three liters now. And those are cosmetic to another gallon. So for using a decode emission paint, for coating or painting a hundred square uh, area, two coats, two times, so I'm going to need one drum and one gallon. So if you think you have gained one or two things from this training, from this uh, tutorial, kindly do us a favor by subscribing, by to subscribe to our channel, and also like and share to your family and friends. Likewise, if you have, if you have interest in knowing more about this, uh, you can also check the link below to get a painter's companion, which is a textbook on both paint production and painting and designs. It is for both painters and the, um, the construction professionals, like the builders, the architects, the structural engineers, and the like, the project managers that have interest in knowing more about painting and paint production. So you can check the link below in the description of this video uh, for how to get um, your own copy, either the hard copy or the soft copy. Thank you. See you.